Don't forget to watch the latest Switched parody on Rewind Rumble if Mario and Sonic switched girlfriends. A link to that can be seen in the description or the card in the top right. Thanks and enjoy the video. What's up everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you're new to this series, then just leave and head on down to Rewind Rumble to watch our latest parody of Mario and Sonic Switched Girlfriends. But if you know how the game is played and you know what you're getting into, then let's get ready for the fight. Today, of course, we have a bug-themed battle between Spider-Man and Blue Beetle, Marvel vs. DC, Spiders vs. Beetles, and of course, there are many incarnations of both Spider-Man and Blue Beetle. In specific, we are using Jamie Rise from the New Earth Timeline, and he will be facing 616 Peter Parker. So with all this in mind, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Oh. Jamie Rise was just your average kid growing up in El Paso, Texas. He went to high school, his parents were busy with work, and he had a little sister. But little did Jamie know, something drastic was going on in another timeline that would directly affect him in his timeline. This event was known as the Infinite Crisis. So in a distant timeline, Ted Kord, the other Blue Beetle, had received the Blue Beetle Scarab. This Scarab was once in possession of Dan Garrett, the original Blue Beetle. This story arc is similar to the passing down of the Green Lantern ring from one user to another after retirement or death. So Ted was Blue Beetle for a bit, but then an evildoer by the name of Maxwell Lord killed him. Once Ted died, the Blue Beetle Scarab was let free, and the Scarab has a mind of its own. So after Ted's death, it traveled and it found its way to El Paso, Texas, eventually finding Jamie. Having possession of this artifact not only gave Jamie some cool powers, which we'll get into, it also gave him clout within the superhero community. The time-traveling superhero Booster Gold was aware of Jamie suddenly having powers, so he invited him to meet the one and only Batman. This is mainly because he knew one day in the future, Batman would face the brother eye and fail unless he had someone with the Blue Beetle Scarab by his side. So long story short, Jamie became the newest superhero in town and was a part-time apprentice to Bruce Wayne. So with that out of the way, let's get into powers and abilities. All of his non-human abilities come directly from the Scarab. It is attached directly to Jamie's spine. Since it has connection to his spinal cord, sometimes the Scarab can make decisions on its own, but Jamie has most of the control and can override it if necessary. His main powers include super strength up to 4 tons, agility, beetle wings that can be used as a shield or for flight, scarab sight which gives Jamie enhanced vision, shape-shifting armor, and most importantly shape-shifting weapons. New weapons can be programmed in, but they all come from the same power source, so this is more of a variety advantage as it can create axes, clubs, cannons, swords, and more. Now Jamie's main weakness is the scarab itself. If you can damage it or remove it from him and dispel the armor, it will greatly harm Jamie while at the same time detaching him from all of his non-human abilities. Now doing this is quite a challenge, but people who are fast and strong enough have managed to do it before. Oh. Peter Benjamin Parker grew up in New York with his Aunt May and Uncle Ben. Tragically, his parents and soon his uncle passed away very early on in life. During a school field trip, he was bit by a radioactive spider. Thanks to Peter's radioactive DNA, he can lift up to 10 tons, run over 200 miles per hour, and has an amazing spider sense. The spider sense allows Spider-Man to detect danger, have enhanced awareness to his surroundings, and allows him to efficiently react and navigate around any incoming projectile or environmental hazard. Oh. And now... Let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, there is no prep time. Let the battle begin!
Hopefully you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, super special thanks to Team Animation Rewinds, Kasai Saiyan. Also, thanks to Coroner Key for some of the research and notes for the post-analysis. And the winner is Spider-Man. The most important thing that we need to make clear is that there are many different incarnations of both characters. New Earth Jamie Rise being one of the weakest incarnations of Blue Beetle, but also the most fair Blue Beetle to pit against 616 Peter Parker. Many of the other Blue Beetles could directly scale to Green Lantern, making these other Blue Beetles solar system level and massively faster than Light Plus. This is something that 616 Peter could not be fairly pitted against. It would be a quick stop match. But if you take the average 616 Peter and pit him up against the weakest Blue Beetle possible, well one of, there's some cartoon versions like the Batman Brave and the Bold Blue Beetle which is even weaker, but that's a different topic for a different day. Anyway, this match in of itself is a much more fair one. Starting off, Spider-Man can dodge Cyclops' optic blast and his optic blast has been confirmed to move at the speed of light. He can also dodge light speed attacks from a villain that uses pure light based attacks. He's embarrassed X-Men, and the X-Men have characters like Beast and Wolverine who can react within nanoseconds, and a nanosecond is roughly that of an FTL reaction. He's also tagged Quicksilver, as Cartoon Fight Night has displayed many, many times to us, and can keep up with Deadpool, who can also dodge Cyclops' optic blast from close range. Spider-Man has staggered the Incredible Hulk, although this is the weaker Savage Hulk form, but nonetheless, the Savage Hulk could survive nuclear bombs, so damaging somebody who can tank city level attacks is worth noting. This scale would make sense because he could also damage a Luke Cage and Luke Cage can also tank a nuclear bomb. Spider-Man of course himself can tank Green Goblin's Goblin Bombs with little to no damage. With stats like these, Jamie would be in a lot of trouble. In this specific timeline, his best speed feats would be reacting to lightning, which makes him massively hypersonic, lifting up to 4 tons, can damage the Black Beetle, making him multi-city block level, and can also get severely damaged by the Black Beetle, peaking his durability at about the same amount as well. Stats aside, Peter has a huge experience edge over Jamie. He has taken on foes with similar powers to the Blue Beetle, and his spider sense will be something that Jamie has almost no answer for. Spidey is so much faster, he can easily dodge nearly anything that gets thrown at him unless Jamie gets really, really lucky. Making the winner of this battle, Spider-Man. Now, since Jamie is more of an apprentice, a more accurate match would be against Miles Morales. So if you want to see a rematch, all you have to do is like this video, and if this video gets 3,000 likes, such a rematch will be put into production. Don't forget to comment down your own ideas, and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. <laughs>